My name is Commander Desic, or Des. Although my true designation is CC9189, Desic was a nickname given to me by my Mandalorian training sergeant on Camino. I was trained from birth to be a commanding officer in the Grand Army of the Republic. For years I went through grueling combat simulations, preparing me for a war. I didn't fully understand. Some nights, I would stare into the small mirror in my quarters, questioning what all of it was really for, wondering if I would ever be deployed to a real battlefield. At times I truly believed it would never happen, though eventually the time did come. Status report, Lieutenant. All available units are being ordered to the acclimators. We are being deployed, sir. Suddenly I found myself thrust into action. My battalion was swiftly deployed to the treacherous sands of Geonosis. Move, move, move! Into the gunships! See you at the surface. I had trained my whole life for this moment, but not a single day of that training could have prepared me for the gruesome reality of war. Go, go, go! Incoming! I lost more than half of the troops under my command that day. Focus fire on that spider droid! Right away, sir! Brace yourself! I myself would have been a casualty. It wasn't for the heroics of a Jedi Knight that I would come to know as full fifth month. Bring up the tanks! Yes, sir! He saved me and several others from certain death. And together we fought through wave after wave of battle droids. Ah! I didn't have time to thank the Jedi for saving my life. As after the battle was over, we were quickly transferred to Coruscant. I was surprised to learn that Volfeth Mun had personally selected me to be his second in command. From that day forward, I faithfully served by his side. We would face countless adversaries during the war. Dooku's acolytes. The cyborg General Grievous. Bounty hunters. And the ruthless CIS droid armies, just to name a few. some of the Republic's finest. Commander Bly and General Sakura. Oh, <laughs> 
General Apparentsis. And the legendary Master Windows. certainly push all of us to our limits, but it also created a bond between us like nothing else could. The General was more than just my commanding officer, he was also a good friend. He truly cared about all of us, and treated every clone in our unit with respect. He made us believe our lives meant something other than war. Unfortunately, this close bond that we had formed over the years would be shattered in a matter of seconds. As right when victory in the Clone War seemed inevitable, a directive sent by the highest authority would change everything, and nothing would ever be the same again. Execute Order 66. 